So, welcome to Paris. Uh, so, I'm going to be here for the next week. I'm here for work. Uh, a big conference uh, with lots of my colleagues coming from the UK, coming from around the world, all coming here. I'm going to be presenting my research. I'm going to be uh, listening to other people present their research, uh, running around between drinks receptions, all this kind of thing. Also, Tim Berners-Lee is also talking at this conference, which is kind of epic. If you don't know who he is, he invented the World Wide Web. So because I'm in Paris for a conference this week, I'm going to be uh, running between presentation sessions, uh, drinks receptions, uh, hanging out with colleagues, friends uh, from around the world who I don't get to see very often as well. I'm not going to have all that much time for exploring the city. So great opportunity to go for a run that ticks off loads of the Paris landmarks. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning, go for a run around the city, try and hit as many of the big landmarks as we can. Uh, and yeah, let's see, let's see how this one goes. So it's about 7.30 a.m. here in Paris. I'm at the metro station now, waiting for the train to come to take me to the Arc de Triomphe, where I'm gonna be starting today's run. So it is a sunny but cool morning, perfect kind of running conditions here in Paris right now. That behind me is obviously the Arc de Triomphe, built in the early 1800s, uh, 50 meters tall. This is going to be the starting point of today's run. Off we go, let's start the watch and get running. So now we're at the Eiffel Tower, which has to be the most iconic monument in all of Paris. It was built in the second half of the 1800s, it's 300 meters high. Let's take a closer look. So here at the base of the Eiffel Tower right now, and they've planted a giant sequoia tree, a giant redwood tree as they're known in, in England. The biggest tree on the planet, so it's gonna be interesting to see what that starts to look like as it gets bigger next to the Eiffel Tower. made it down to the Seine now, the river that runs through the heart of Paris. I'm sorry by the way to any French people watching this, I'm probably completely mispronouncing all of these place names. I'm sorry, I just don't speak French. We're going to be running along the embankment here, along the side of the river, uh, for a little bit now. So a little bit over 5k into today's run now, uh, we're crossing this bridge whose name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce because it will just be insulting if I did. Um, uh, this is a bridge where everyone has been attaching their padlocks. So one of the more modern monuments of Paris here, the Pyramid at Le Louvre, Again, sorry French people, I'm destroying your language. This pyramid was completed in 1988, again, making it one of the more modern monuments of Paris, but now really quite iconic. Running along the river again now, just making our way down towards Notre Dame. Okay, so we've made it now to Notre Dame behind me. Obviously, a couple of years ago, subject to a pretty horrific fire. Uh, so it's all boarded off at the moment. There's construction works going on while we try and repair and restore the cathedral.
So we're running now through the Garden of Luxembourg and this is where we're going to end today's run. Uh, going to come to a close a little bit over 10 kilometers. So let's end the workout here. So I've ended the run here in the Garden of Luxembourg, uploaded it to Strava, it came out at 10.45 kilometers and I really enjoyed it. I got to see all the sights I wanted to see, take off the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, uh, running along the Seine, going to Le Louvre, uh, Notre Dame, and then here to the Garden of Luxembourg. So got to see a lot of the sights of Paris while I'm here for a conference. Got to use running as a way to explore a little bit, to see the city. Really happy, mission complete. On to the next one. I'll see you in the next episode next Wednesday.